Hello everyone, I am Ajay, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering. Today we will see one more problem on dimensional analysis through Rayleigh's method. The efficiency of a fan depends upon the density, the dynamic viscosity, angular velocity, diameter and the discharge. Express efficiency in terms of dimensionless parameters. So efficiency depends upon density, dynamic viscosity, angular velocity, diameter and distance. We can write efficiency is equal to constant times density power A, dynamic viscosity power B, diameter power C, angular velocity power D and discharge power E. Now we'll represent this parameter in terms of M and T, mass, length and time. The efficiency doesn't have any units. We can write M power 0, L power 0 and T power 0. Density is mass by volume. So mass is M divided by volume L cube. So M L power minus 3. Then dynamic viscosity m l power minus 1 into t power minus 1 diameter is equal to l angular velocity is revolutions per minute so it is having t power minus 1 per minute so per time so it will become t power minus 1 then discharge meter cube per second L cube t power minus 1. Now we will substitute all these values in the equation. The next step we will equate the power of m, l and t to determine the values of a, b, c, d and e. In this equation there are 5 unknowns. First we will equate the power of m 0 is equal to so 1 into a that is a 1 into b b so 0 is equal to a plus b next we will equate the power of l 0 is equal to minus 3 a minus 1 b c 3 0 is equal to minus 3 a minus b plus c plus 3 next we will equate the power of t 0 is equal to minus b minus d minus e now in this problem there are five unknowns but we have only three equations so in those case we have to express the three equations in terms of two unknowns in this problem we have to consider two most important parameters so one we can consider it as viscosity, one more we can consider it as the distance, the two important parameters. Now we have to represent the remaining three parameters in terms of these two parameters. That is, we can represent the density which is having a power A and uh, diameter with the power C and angular velocity with the power d a c d in terms of b that is viscosity and e that is distance now in the first equation i can easily write the a in terms of b a is equal to minus b next in the third equation if i bring minus d onto the lhs will become d is equal to minus b minus e. So I have represented a in terms of b and d in terms of b and e. Now in the second equation substitute the value of a. So minus 3 into a is minus b minus b plus c plus 3. So after simplification it will become 2b plus c plus 3 so I can write C is equal to in terms of B and E that is minus 2B minus 3. 
Now we will substitute the value of A, B, C, D, E. That means A, C and D values we have to substitute. B and D will remain same. So efficiency is equal to K into rho power A. So A is equal to minus B. Mu power B will keep as it is. Okay. Then D power C minus 2B minus 3. Omega power D. D is equal to minus B minus E. And Q power E will keep as it is. Now, well, we can write k into rho power minus b mu power b. Here we can write d power minus 2b into d power minus 3 and uh, omega power minus b minus e and q power e. Now, the term which is having b we can combine and the power having e we can combine and we can write so here mu power b so mu will be in the numerator rho power minus b so bring this rho to the denominator then d square bring it to the denominator so it will become mu divided by and here angular velocity bring it to the denominator so omega so mu power b rho power b omega power b and d power 2b are taken b outside so it will be mu divided by rho into omega into d square whole power b and the next so here it is q power e and uh, here d power minus 3 bring it to the denominator d power 3 and omega power minus e it will become omega power e. So q power e, d power 3 and omega power e. I have taken the power e as outside. So it will become q divided by d cube omega power e. So this is the final answer using Rayleigh's method. In the last step, we can consider one more constant that is phi. So the final expression will become efficiency is equal to k into phi times mu by rho omega d square into q divided by d q. So this is the final answer. Thank you. For more videos, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel that is Make Basics.